Hello? Are we live? So guys, I'm live on Instagram as well as YouTube. Yay, the comments are coming in. I feel like people are on here. Hi everyone. Happy Thursday. I hope you guys are all well. Oh my God, India, Spain. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Sonal. Hey, Crunchy Poo. <laughs> okay, I hope the lighting and everything is like, okay. Um, let me see if we can make these a little bit brighter. Um, Dance, would you be able to see if you can help me get them like the brightest, if that's okay, thank you. Okay, so we are here and we're gonna be doing a live makeup look. Um, I'm basically just gonna do like my everyday go-to kind of glam. Um, it's no eyeshadow, but I'm gonna be using like my products that I'm loving at the moment. Um, I've tried to make sure that there's a bit of um, low end as well as high end in here for me as well. Um, but let's get straight onto it because otherwise I'm gonna be here for ages, just blabbering on and on and on and on. So um, I'm gonna moisturize my skin. I'm using this simple moisturizer right here. It's called Kind Skin Protecting Moisturizer Cream. It's got an SPF of 30. So we're gonna get that on to, this is actually new because I had realized my initial um, moisturizer that I wanted to put on was high end. So I wanted to make sure there was, um, as our induction. Oh, I'm so sorry. Of course, she was waiting for 20 minutes. <laughs> as prepping everything and making sure it was all set up ready for me to go live. Hi guys, hello, hello. Right, moisturizer is done. And then I'm gonna put some lip balm on because I'm wearing a matte lipstick, so I'm gonna make sure that my skin, my skin, my lips are nice and moisturized. Mm, this is a Burt's Bees Cucumber and Mint Lip Balm. I'm literally, I'm going live on my iPad on YouTube and it's the first time I've done this and I feel like, it's okay, I feel like we're, we're, we're okay. I mean, there's two different angles. I don't really know what to look on, whether to look on my phone or my YouTube, but I'm gonna try and switch between the two. Um, so the kind of look that we're doing today is my go-to makeup. Let me add it on um, my Instagram, go-to makeup. So Bavika underscore Chopra 23 is asking which lip balm is your favourite? Mm, okay, I'm going to show you my favourite lip balm of the moment. Um, and it's the Tarcha one. And Tarcha is really hard to get a hold of. Uh, this is my favourite high end. My favourite like uh, more affordable brand will have to be one of the think. I love Laneige. I feel like that is a brand that you can get in like boots. Um... Also, Nivea. Nivea's um, lip balms are really great. Carmex is really good, but my favourite one at the moment is the Tarcha one. Right, so I'm going to start putting my base on. Um, uh, 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 I'm actually going to pop some of my all-nighter setting spray on. I love this as a primer. I always spray far too much than I'm supposed to, but I feel like this really helps my foundation stay on for longer and for my foundation I'm going to actually make like a mix because I love mixing my foundations in general so I'm going to add two like luminous -y products this is the by Terry CC Cellular Rose Serum and this is the Becca Backlight Climbing Filter I'm going to get I'm going to say two pumps of the Becca one pump of the by Terry and then I'm going to get one pump of my Dior Forever Foundation. I have been loving this. I'm actually gonna get two pumps of it, sorry, on my hands. I've been loving this ever since they reformulated it. Um, I feel like it's probably one of my favorite go-to foundations. I'm just gonna get this onto my face. Oh, and the sponge I'm using is the Fenty Beauty sponge. So I'm just gonna get this onto 
So on Instagram, Priya.Palmer is asking, what's similar to the Tatcha lip balm? Oh, do you know what? I, I actually haven't tried anything similar. It's got gold flecks in it, but it's made, well, made from, it's like a camellia lip balm. So if you try and type in on Google, um, camellia lip balm, you may be able to find something similar, but I don't know anyone off the top of my head. If you have a look at it, it's like clear, but with gold specks. Um, and I've not seen anything else like it. So it's a really hard question to answer. I'm so sorry. We have Anissa on YouTube saying, if you could only ever have one makeup product, what would it be? Ah! <laughs> I'd say mascara. I love being makeup free. Um, so I'm just going to get two more pumps of the Dior. And that's only because um, I've got such a glowy base on. I want to add some more coverage just in the center parts of my face, mainly around my nose. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with mascara. Yeah, it's, and that's only because I love being makeup free. That, I don't know, mascara just kind of like opens up my eye area. So yeah, I'm gonna go with mascara, but if it had to be skincare, then it'd be SPF for sure. Because I feel like everyone needs to wear SPF every single day. Save their skin, protect their skin. Um, what are your guys's one product, one makeup product that you guys can't live without? Let me show you if any, any of you guys. Which shade in Dior are you in your face? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you guys that. So I am shade 2W0. I will um, pop all of the products that I have used on my YouTube channel um, in the description box once this video is saved and uploaded so you guys can know exactly what I've used, all the shades and all of that. Okay, I love bouncing <laughs> my beauty blender into my skin and I feel like this really just melts all the product in there. I feel like I haven't done a live full on makeup tutorial in ages. Um, but obviously um, the world is on, or well, most of the world is on a quarantine and lockdown at the moment. And I thought this would be a nice way to get everyone's mind off of things. And just, I mean, if you guys are sitting at home and thinking, what could I do? Why don't you guys do your makeup with me? Um, that'll be fun to do together. Um, I'm going to a very, 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 very quickly. Um, a little bit of a cream contour um i don't always do a cream contour but for the sake of the video i'm going to i'm going to use my charlotte tilbury contour wand i love this this is a new one even better moon naza on instagram is asking a blush or mascara i'd stay i'd say mascara still i feel like my cheeks are naturally reddish so i'd definitely go for oh hello Got a bit too much contour going on on the nose just there. It's okay, we can save this. Okay, I'm getting a little onto the usual areas that I like to uh, contour. Oh, the only thing about this is it's such a good product, but you have to make sure that you close it. It's like you have to twist it for the product to come out. <clears throat> but what I love about this is that it is really easy to blend. It blends into the skin really really like effortlessly you don't really have to do much can't really go wrong with it which is why i love it so i'm just gonna blend away so re underscore one two six a is asking do you have to wear spf in quarantine too i'm a bit confused um i don't see any harm in it like we have a conservatory and there's loads of light that comes into there and i sit with two packs so if you don't know who two pack is two pack is um our dog our little puppy uh very cheeky little puppy but very well behaved at the same time <laughs> i will sit in there with him sometimes and i will throw the ball out into the garden and he goes and fetches it it's like his favorite game ever um and because i sit there and i am actually like not in the sun but like the sun is kind of reaching my skin um i would definitely put 
SPF on. I, I put SPF on every morning before I come downstairs. Um, so if you've got SPF, then yeah, I would. I don't see any harm in wearing it. Um, and another thing is, is like, it doesn't matter if it's sunny or not. You should still wear SPF because the sun rays are still gonna get their way through the clouds. So always wear SPF. Let's let's just put it as always wear it. <laughs> I'm just going over the lines. So 19 underscore Manchef on Instagram is asking, what's your favourite lipstick? Oh, I don't, I don't think I have one favourite lipstick, but um, if I had to just pick one off the top of my head, it would have to be the Bourjois Velvet, the kind of like the velvet, what's it called? The Rouge Velvet lipsticks, um, the liquid lipsticks, and you can't get them here in the UK anymore because they have stopped selling um selling them here which is not the best but it's my favorite and i love it so much and it's just really comfortable it's like a nudie pink and it is probably my it's like my go-to color um because you can't get that anymore i'd probably say back talk um liquid lipstick from urban decay is another real good favorite of mine they're very similar colors actually but very different consistencies um so i would have to say that I'm just gonna get um oh no it's right here i was like where's my concealer i've got my light one okay i'm gonna take my maybelline eraser eye concealer this is, you guys have seen this on my channel like flipping is in pretty much every single video <laughs> i love it so 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 much um and i'm gonna get this onto the usual areas that i want to brighten so that's um down the sides of my nose and i've been doing this kind of weird thing where it's kind of, i kind of like focus it in this area and then i just add a little bit on the outer portions of my eyes like this and a little bit just here just to balance out the, the brightness um and then just blend that out so shivanji n on youtube is asking what skincare product that you can't live without oh my god these are hard questions you guys um one skincare product i'd probably say a serum um currently i am using a mixture i'll show you what serum i'm using i'm using this pure shot serum from ysl um and then i'm also using uh the summer fridays cc brightening serum and i love them both equally um but yeah i'd say serum because they're like quite moisturizing um I'm gonna go with serum. What about you guys? I mean, I love a good face mask. I love a good eye, eye cream. I love a good lip balm. I, I'm like, I'm like such a skincare junkie. Like, I love skincare, but I would probably say, yeah, serum. Go for the serum. Something a bit different. It probably, if you ask me tomorrow, it'd probably be something di completely different. But we'll stick with skirum. Uh, skirum. <laughs> we'll stick with serum for now. I'm just gonna add a little bit more, just to brighten the bit. What's your favourite body shop product? Oh, my favourite body shop product will have to be the Camellia Cleansing Balm. It's the best. It's like literally the, the one cleanser that I can use no matter what my makeup is. If it's like really dark and heavy and or like really light, it will take my makeup off and it will make my skin feel clean um, regardless of what kind of makeup I've got on underneath. So we're gonna get, we're gonna stick with the camellia. Actually, the whole camellia cleansing range is my favorite. Um, if I had to pick um, a mask from Body Shop, it would be the Himalayan clay mask. It's very very similar to the Glam Glow uh, mask, uh, the one in the white pot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stick with those two. I mean, it's like a range, but yeah, those two products will probably have to be my proper favorites. I'm just setting all those areas using my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder and I love this powder because it's so finely milled you don't really feel like you're wearing anything on your face which I mean I'm all about I love my skin to still look and feel like skin like I don't know whether you can tell like obviously I've got makeup on but it's done in a way where like I try and use products that suit my skin so let's say, for example, if my, I was having a really, really like dry skin day, I wouldn't wear a matte foundation because that's just going to make my skin look even drier. 
So I will always see like what my skin's doing that day or what my skin's doing that week and then pick my foundation and my skincare and everything around that. Um, but this powder is so good. Um, this is probably like my seventh or eighth pot that I've, or pan that I've gone through because I love it that much. Jetin Jangra is asking on YouTube what your favourite eyeshadow palette is. Oh my god, these are really hard. I, I don't think I actually have just one. But actually, let me show you guys. If I had to pick one, it would be because I don't pour. Okay, <sighs> Give me two seconds, guys. <laughs> okay, my favourite palette will have to be this one. It's the NYX Swear By It palette, and it's literally got every single shade in here. It's got shimmers, it's got mattes, it's got black. I love eyeshadow palettes with a black. Um, so yeah, it would have to be that palette. Um, and you can get NYX from Cult Beauty, you can get it from Boots, you can get it from Look Fantastic, I think. There's loads of places you can get it, um, but that has to be my... It's like my one palette, if I like had to travel somewhere and I didn't know what kind of makeup I was going to go for, I would go with um, that palette, just because it's got everything in there. Drinking a coffee. Today's just been one of those days. And I was like, I need a coffee. Right, okay, I'm just gonna get my bronzer on. So for bronzer, I'm using Hula by Benefit. Uh, I'm just gonna put it on, I think, with the brush that it comes with. Get it onto the usual areas. So Shal Rubin on Instagram is asking, how have you been? How have I been? Oh my god. Do you know what? Like, I feel like people don't ask that question enough. Like, how have you been? Like, and like, actually wanting to know how you've been. So, I have been good. I have been trying to avoid watching too much news. Because I feel like when I do that, it really consumes me to the point where it's not healthy for my mental space. Uh, my mental well-being so I try not to watch it too much I mean there are um week sorry daily updates that the um government do I think at every like five or six o'clock and I do kind of sometimes watch that but I've been staying away from that as much as I possibly can um so obviously there's a really big issue going on in the world and that is quite a scary thing to think about it's quite a scary thing that's happening not even quite it is a scary thing that's happening um and at one point I was a bit like do I stop posting like I, I didn't really feel right posting on social media just because I thought there's so many more important things to be thinking about doing um and then I asked on my Instagram actually like what do you guys want to see do you guys want me to keep posting do you want like what, what do you guys want and like I kid you not like Pretty much every single comment that I read was that keep going. Like it's like we, we want to be able to like escape from all of that and come and follow you and like see what you're up to. So that's why I'm, I'm I keep going. But like how I'm feeling, like there's so many emotions that I'm feeling, you guys. I um mentioned on my Instagram that um social media, I mean I've been doing this for a long time now. And social media was really affecting my mental peace and my mental clarity. Um, so over the past two months, I've been going to therapy, which is something that I feel like my community doesn't really talk about. And by my community, I mean um, the Indian community. It's not really something that a lot of people speak about, um, but I feel like it's been helping me so much. And hopefully you guys can see that, <laughs> that it's, um, I hope you guys can see it in my face that it's making me feel so much better. So um, that's how I've been feeling in that sense. Um, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm doing a lot of stuff for me and I'm having a lot of me time, which is great. And I just love that I'm doing this whole, so for everyone on YouTube, I'm doing this thing on my Instagram where every day there's a theme. So Mondays we have Mindful Mondays, Tuesdays it's Two Pack Tuesdays. Wednesdays it's workout Wednesdays, Thursdays is live tutorial Thursdays, Fridays is face mask Fridays, Saturday is 
self-care Saturday and Sundays are smoothie Sundays. So I'm going to be sharing little snippets of what those, all those days and all those themes that we have over on my Instagram stories. And yeah, like it, for me, like that makes me feel better about the content that I'm putting out and hopefully it makes you guys feel better as well about everything going on because obviously it is such a, I, I can't, like every single day I wake up and I think, oh, this is just a movie. Like this isn't like, it's not real life, but it is real life. Um, and it is obviously a little bit worrying, but if I can put out some content and if I can put my energy into something that's positive, I feel like it will hopefully make everyone watching feel better as well. So overall, I'm feeling good. Um, there are times where I don't feel as good as is, I feel like, a lot of people in the world. But I feel, I feel like if we all keep our vibrations on a high level, um, I feel like we can make big differences that way. So that's how I'm feeling. How are you guys feeling? <laughs> I hope you guys are feeling... Hopefully not like super duper anxious. Sorry, I've literally been not even talking about what I'm doing. Um, blush wise, I used the NARS Dolce Vita blush. Probably one of my favourite blushes of all time. I have spoken about this blush probably since the start of my YouTube channel. Love it so, so, so much. Um, I'm sure I mentioned I used Hula Bronzer. And now I am on to the highlight. And we are going to use Champagne Pop from Becca. And I'm just popping this onto the usual areas that I like to highlight. I feel like I went off on a tangent on how am I feeling. Do you think that's about right? Yeah. How I'm feeling? Like, I, f I feel like... A mixture of emotions. A mixture of emotions, yeah. It, you can't... I, there's not just, like, one emotion that I'm feeling. Um, there are times, like this morning, I got really freaked out. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, literally freaking... Like, full-on freak-out mode. And then now I'm feeling really good. I'm, like, feeling really great. If you know what I mean. So there, there's always, there's ups and downs, but overall I'm feeling a lot better than I was um, the last, like, literally, like, the last two or three years. So, yeah. JV on YouTube is asking, what brush did you use to set under your oh, eyes? Oh, I use harder with? this Bare Minerals brush. Anything, really, that's thin, like this, and rounded so that I can get really like into the areas that I want to set is what I'll use. Sometimes I'll use this brush, which is a backstage beauty brush again, is relatively thin on the side um, and it's nice and rounded and it can get really nice into like the eye area. So that's the rush. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna add a teeny bit more of highlight because why not? Um, I put up a, an Instagram video uh, I think it was on Monday and in that video like I'm doing my makeup and I'm like moving on to the next thing and I realised I literally forgot to put on my highlight so this time around I was not going to forget that. So my base is pretty much done and I'm going to get a little bit more of my all nighter foundation. Get that on my face. <laughs> um, what else are we going to use? Shivani City on Instagram is asking, which is your favourite eyeliner? Oh, okay, so I have two. I'll give you two options, a high-end and a low-end. My favourite high-end eyeliner is the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Black. And it is super duper black. It is, it stays on for ages. And I also love the nude one of this, FYI. <laughs> um, and then the low end like the drugstore equivalent of that which I feel like they're pretty pretty similar um is the L'Oreal Paris infallible gel pencil eyeliner so it's still pencil form um and again that's super 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 like jet black and it stays on for ages and I love it um so yeah I'll go I'll stick with those I feel like those are my favorite <laughs> I'm just going to um, start filling in my brows. Actually, no, we're not going to fill in our brows. We're going to do our mascara next because I want to wear false lashes. <laughs> I want to wear false lashes and I like my mascara to be quite dry before I put them on. So we'll do mascara next. And for mascara, I'm using the Maybelline The Falsies Mascara. So this is a new one that um, I think came out quite recently. Um, and I really like it. So I'm going to... I generally really like... 
Um, I think my favourite brand of mascaras have to be L'Oreal or Maybelline. Or actually NYX. NYX on the rise mascara is really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, those have to be like my favourite ones. 19 underscore Mansha is saying, hang in there, things are going to be fine with the other half. Aw, thank <laughs> you, Mansha. Hi, Yoli! Oh my god, so Yoli, if for anyone who's wondering, is the head facialist for Tarcha. She is, she was at my, she was at half of my wedding. She's amazing. I love her so much. She has the best skin. Like, literally, whenever I see her, I'm like, what have you got on your skin? And she's like, just touch her skincare, like, nothing else. And the fact that she doesn't, like, her, her, her face looks like she's wearing makeup when she's got nothing on her face. Like, oh my gosh, yeah, she's making her tea. Oh, Yoli, I miss you so much. I hope you're, so, be, I hope you're healthy, I hope you're safe, and I hope you're at home. You are at home because you're making your tea, you just said. Um, but yeah, she is the best. And she just asked if I've used the new Tarcha Silk Canvas Primer. And I haven't, but I am going to be using it in a new video. So I'll let you know my thoughts on that. But I'm going to start getting my mascara on. Oh, I feel like I haven't announced this, but I've got my assistant asking me questions. Because usually when I get my, when I'm doing my makeup, I forget to look at the screen. And I forget to answer you guys' questions. But I thought this would be a good way to actually keep the conversation flowing um hi Ashia how are you oh Yoli I miss the cats too <laughs> say hi to Chia for me okay right I'm gonna get some mascara on I'll show you actually I'll do one eye or eyelash and then I'll show you <laughs> show you the difference between the two I feel like um, I can do my mascara with my mouth shut. Like that. <laughs> I feel like sometimes when I've done it in the past, people are like, how are you doing that with your mouth shut? And I, I don't know, I just feel like, I mean, my face looks like this when I do it. But Anchel underscore Coley 96 on Instagram is asking, what are you watching in isolation? Oh, okay, so... Me and my husband have started, and you guys are going to be like, what? We've just started watching Harry Potter. I know, right? Like, we literally haven't watched it ever. I think, no, tell a lie. I think I watched, like, one and two, like, back in the day, and I full-on forgot what happened to them. So we're on number three at the moment, and we're trying to make our way through all of them. I'm not going to lie to you guys, it gets to like 10 o'clock and I get really sleepy, so <laughs> I don't really stay up. <laughs> um, and I'm usually up by 6.30 every morning. Um, and I quite like that. And I do my music meditation in the morning. I play with Tupac. I've been like relaxing and doing a jigsaw puzzle. But all of this stuff, all this information is coming on my Mindful Mondays. So I'll be sharing with you exactly all the things that I'm loving and that I like doing. So this is the difference between one eye and the other. So my other eye full on looks bold. And this eye, I mean, I probably don't even have to wear lashes if I really didn't want to. Um, but I just thought I'd show you guys the difference between the two. Aaliyah Aris on YouTube is asking, would you rather get a lash extensions done or a lash lift done? Oh, I would 100% get lash extensions done. I've had a lash lift the LVLs um I've had that done before in the past but what I found with that is because I quite like wearing big dramatic lashes my eyelashes went up like too like too high like this and I couldn't get the lash band behind my lashes so with uh, lash extensions they just add the lashes into my onto my eyelids and then I just don't need to wear mascara um so yeah, if I had the choice of which one would I get, I would get eyelash extensions. And I feel like eyelash extensions last, for me personally, longer than an LVO lash lift. So yeah, I'd go for extensions. Shreya B on Instagram is asking, how do you prevent mascara from looking clumpy? I feel like my lashes look clumpy after many layers. I would say try a different mascara. And I know that's might not be what you want to hear but there are certain lashes even for me where I feel like it just clumps up more um and there are certain lash uh, mascaras sorry where I feel like I can wear a lot 
like a lot of layers of it like this one it just doesn't get clumpy whereas there are some others that I've tried in the past where I have to where I know where, I, where my limits are with it and there are others where you can keep layering and layering and it looks fine so we're gonna we're gonna stick with try a different mascara Pursuit of Truth on YouTube is asking, what's your best highlight? It has to be Champagne Pop. Like, <laughs> I literally wear it all the time. It's like my favourite highlight, like, ever. I'm so sorry, I'm like literally not even looking at the screen to see if you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm just getting this mascara onto my lower lashes. Oh, and which mascara are you using? Oh, okay, so I'm using the, the Maybelline the falsies lash lift funny we were just talking about lash lifts <laughs> and this is the only lash lift i would get <laughs> i'm so sorry guys i literally cannot look at the screen right now right now my ipad is um on two boxes because my iPad has to be here, my phone has to be here, and like it's full on on top of two boxes just to make all this work. And then we've had to put a candle behind the I iPad and a mu and a face mask in front of it just to keep it all up, so that we're um we are uh, what's the word all in focus and all in the right area. So on YouTube, Miss Barclean is saying, which is your favourite brow product? Oh, okay, so my favourite, seeing as my eyelash is done, my favourite brow product is the Precisely My Brow. I actually have the shade 3.5 here, which I have recently tried. I usually use a mixture of 3 and 4, but I feel like 3.5 is the perfect like in-between shade. Um, and it has to be this because I feel like I can do, um, well, I can just make my eyebrows look really how I want them to look. <laughs> hope that makes sense <laughs> but I'm gonna start filling my brows in now um so yeah I'm using this 3.5 and I do have my brows microbladed they do look they are faded a little bit to be fair I haven't had them topped up in a long 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 time and once you get foundation on your skin because the microblading is like microbladed onto your skin if you get foundation on top it's gonna make them look faded so you have to fill your brows in Especially when you're wearing makeup and you have your brows microbladed. Does that make sense? I hope I'm, I genuinely hope I've made sense here. Um, how to get your eyelashes curly? You can use the eyelash curler. Sorry, Lams, I just totally read that. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can totally um, like curl your lashes if you really want to. Some people have naturally curly eyelashes. So jealous of you guys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, some people have naturally curly eyelashes, but try an eyelash curler. That will help give them a lift. Or if you're not bothered about wearing false lashes, like strip lashes, then you could try an LVL lash lift because that will give it a real curl and curve to it. Stephanie Melissa on YouTube is saying, loving your new setup. Oh, thanks! I'm so glad you guys like it. This is literally like um all like like not memorabilia but like it's all like stuff that like that right there one of my friends made for me when I left my old job and it says on there dream it believe it will it achieve it and she gave that to me when I left my old job and I did all of that and look where I am <laughs> um so yeah there's some like really cute little bits that that is um a YSL like lipstick box that I got when I went to Tokyo with them um, there's like a big NARS lipstick there, which was sent to me. There's like the original Naked palette back there. There's like a little diffuser and a candle. We've got a little bit of stuff going on. We might add another shelf, depending on what we feel. But right now, this is what it's looking like, but I love it, yeah. I'm so glad you guys like it as well. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move on to the next eye brow. So S, S dot KB on Instagram is asking, hey, social how to pick the right brightening concealer oh okay so if you've got dark circles i would recommend using something like a corrector beforehand because you're not really going to brighten um that area if you've already got 
um, skin underneath there, which is of a different tone, because if you're going to add another colour on top, it's not going to counteract any actual darkness. So I would use something like, there's a brand called Live Tinted, which is by my friend Deepika. She's launched some hue sticks, which I don't have anywhere near me right now, but you can use them as correctors, you can use them on your cheeks, you can use them on your lips, you can use them however you want. Um, so they're multi-purpose um, sticks. And you can put that on underneath your eyes first. So if you've got quite um, light to medium skin, I would use a peachy toned corrector, um, and peachy to orange. And if you're anything darker than olive, I would um, go for something more of like an orange to red um, concealer uh, or corrector. And then I would put a, a, a concealer on top of that. Now, if you like the bright eye under look, which I quite like, then I would suggest um, going at least two or three shades lighter than your foundation. Wow, I've got the biggest itch on my nose. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so I would go two to three shades lighter. What I like doing is sometimes I pop like one or two dots of a really, really bright concealer underneath my eyes to really further brighten. But you want to make sure you're targeting the... The reason why you want a bright like brightening concealer if you know what i mean and i would also look at your skin type if you've got really really dry skin i probably wouldn't um go for something too matte or too 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 full coverage because that can um make your under eyes look a lot a lot drier than they are um and also prep your skin as well if you do have quite dry skin if you do have any kind of um skin issues you want to make sure that you have um dealt with that before putting any product on top and that goes with skincare as well um i hope that helps i feel like it wasn't that in my head it wasn't that helpful <laughs> uh so farida yasmin on youtube is saying please can you say hi to anisha you will make my life oh hi anisha i hope you're well and then we've got Nikki Lazoo saying Nikki! <laughs> Nikki, where are you? I love you, I miss you, I hope you're well. I've been watching your stories and you're still working out with your beautiful baby bump. I like brushing the it like the inner part of my eyebrow just because it makes it look really natural in that area rather than adding extra product there. So Sarah Malik on YouTube is asking, what foundation do you think is best for dry skin? Also, you oh. look gorgeous as always. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> um, for dry skin, so I have normal combination skin. Sometimes it can be um, oily, etc., etc. It can sometimes remind it of its own, depending on the weather, what I've been eating, and all of that. Um, for dry skin, I would go for a, nowadays you can get a lot of foundations which are really full coverage but feel very, very lightweight when you put them on your hand or on your face. So I would go with a foundation like that if you'd like full coverage. I personally love the Fenty foundation and the Dior foundation for um, pretty much all skin types, I would say that they, they would suit in that sense. If you're some, looking for something a little bit lighter weight, um, I would definitely check out MAC Face and Body. I think it's an amazing foundation. Um, I used to wear that all the time back in the day. Um, I feel like nowadays I don't really wear it as much because my bottle keeps leaking. <laughs> like literally leaking all over the place. So um, yeah, I don't wear it as much anymore, but um, still do really, really love that foundation. So hopefully, hopefully that helps. Oh, another thing that I would recommend is try and watching other people's YouTube videos or Instagrams who have a similar skin type as you. So let's say, for example, if you find someone who suffers with dry skin and they recommend a foundation that works really well for their skin, then it's quite likely that it may work well for you as well. So that's another thing to, to watch out for. So Sorry. what shampoo are you using at the moment? So, shampoo-wise, like everyday, not everyday shampoo and conditioner, because I don't shampoo and condition my hair every day. Um, I am using the, oh God, the lid's falling on the floor. I always drop something when I'm filming. Um, so I use the Dreamlens shampoo. 
um, and then conditioner. I either I literally pick whatever conditioner I've got in my um, in my bathroom upstairs. Um, I think right now I'm using a Mark Hill one. I've only got a little bit left, but I love the LV Reviver um, conditioners because you don't need to leave them in your hair. So um, in the mornings it saves so much time because you can put it in your hair and you can wash it out straight away, but it works just like any other conditioner. So I love that. Um, and then for my colour, to make sure that my colour is looking refreshed, I haven't used it when I washed my hair today, but I love using the Redkin, um, what's it called? The Redkin Blue, it's like the blue shampoo that Redkin do. It's really, really, really good. They have a mask in that range, which is probably my favourite out of the whole, they do the shampoo, conditioner and mask. Um, and the mask is like my favourite, fav no, not, they're not a shampoo, the conditioner, sorry, is my favourite. Um, the conditioner is like really thick. Um, and it's like balmy and I love the consistency of it and I use that um, pretty much I would say like every other time at the moment not even every other time maybe like once every three or four weeks um, and it helps my colour look in fresh um, so yeah those are the shampoo and conditioner I'm going to take my hair out once my like, makeup is done um, let's get the lashes on so lashes I'm using Backstage Beauty Beverly Hills lashes um, and I wasn't going to wear lashes, but I thought, you know what, let's just do it. I feel like I haven't worn eyelashes in a very, very long time. So today is the day. So I'm going to get these bad boys on. And the glue I'm using is Duo Lash Glue. Um, generally, if I want my lashes to, like, stay put and not ping off and, like, be stuck, like, to my lashes until I, I physically rip them off, um, I love the Huda Beauty Lash Glue because i'm not going to have this makeup on like for a long time i thought the duo one would be oh my god look at this <laughs> Hold on insta is asking what do you wear as a base before eyeshadow um a lot of the times i've been wearing concealer my favorite concealer to use as a base is the Too Faced. <laughs> I was like, well, what am I talking about? Just there. Yeah, the Too Faced one is probably my favourite when it comes to um, the lash situation. I don't know how I'm going to do this, guys. Let's try and put this here um, and we'll see if I can get this on. So I actually don't know where my tweezers are, otherwise, yeah. Do you know where my tweezers are? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh, now my other side of my nose is itchy. Thank you. The other side of my nose is like full on itchy now. But we're gonna hopefully, actually, let's just do glue on the other lash and then by that time this one will be dried. Um, come on, Koshal, you can do. Oh my god, right. Um, right, here we go. Okay, lashes are glued on. I mean, the glue's on the lashes. <laughs> And then we'll slowly get these on. So on Insta, Delicacy Cakes is saying, Hey Koshal, I love your radiating and cheerful personality. What Aww. inspired you to start your blog? Lots of love. Um, my blog, I used to blog like back in the day. And the reason why I started that was because, I mean, not very many people used to do it back then. Um, but I um I think my husband had a big part to play and he was like, Oh, why don't you start a blog? Like he used to have this blog and I was like, Oh, okay, like what can I talk about? And he's like, Whatever you want to. Like you really like makeup, you can talk about makeup. So I was like, okay. And that just like naturally kind of just fell into YouTube because I'm more and I, I prefer talking to writing. I prefer talking to reading. <laughs> I prefer talking to listening. <laughs> I literally I love talking. I'm like it's one of my favourite things to do. Um so yeah, I feel like it just naturally like really worked well for me. I'm just going to get this onto my eyelash line. Let's see if I can do this. I've never done it like this before. Haha. -ha. Hmm, that was not too bad. The only thing is, is this glue, so many people use it, but my God, it stinks. It smells very fishy. Like it, that... Surely this is not normal, but it's okay. We're not going to be keeping this on for like ages, so we are all white. I literally haven't 
worn eyelashes in so flipping long I feel like I look like a different person especially this side look at me <laughs> look at that so these are the backstage beauty lashes and they're in the style called Beverly Hills pretty sure I mentioned it but I'm sure someone's gonna have Primark lashes better than Huda get them <laughs> I've tried that Primark lashes actually and they're really really good my favorites are Paris, Dubai and London I think Juhi.me11 on Insta saying suggest an affordable cream highlighter please by Ooh. the way I love you affordable cream highlight NYX have just released some new ones um I feel like NYX is such a good brand to go to for um drugstore stuff um so I would definitely check NYX out I feel like I'm sure they have like a, a drippy like the drippy one um what's another brand um I feel like mm, I think feel like a load of them used to do like liquid I feel like I can't really think of a cream one off the top of my head I'm really sorry Right, let's get this eyelash on now. And this eyeball. Karisha saying, hi, I'm having FOMO. Oh, curry pop! It's okay, we'll, we'll, I'll FaceTime you, we can do our makeup together one day. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, Karisha, for everyone on Instagram, um, she is the owner of Creme de la Cakes. And when I tell you she makes cakes, you're not going to believe it. She makes cakes that come from the ceiling and like come down like, like literally like yeah. that from like a crane. And then she makes okay. these cakes where it's like hollow inside. It, it, she's so talented. If you guys want to have like cake envy and but feel like basically don't look on her page if you want to have cake right now because it's going to make you want to have cake. But she started her own YouTube channel. Um, so hopefully she's going to be teaching all of us how to make cakes at home. Yay! <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely check her out because she's amazing. She's a good friend of mine and I love her. And she's the best. <laughs> so what's your favourite lip liner? Ooh. Do you know what? The one lip liner that I've been wearing a lot recently is Spice from MAC. And I imagine you're be wearing it today. Um, I feel like I just need to sort this. Eyelash out, eyebrow out a little bit. I always feel like one eyebrow always looks a bit thicker than the other. Let's sort that out for a little bit. Can you see me? Is it over here? <laughs> so yours were here. Might as well make the most of it. Um, so what's your favourite drugstore product? That's hard, guys. I feel like that question needs to be a bit more specific. <laughs> My one favorite. Do you know what? It'll have to be this brand of concealers. The thick, they're like a shape tape. It's the infallible concealer from L'Oreal. They are so good. I haven't worn it today, but they are so good. They're they're like they're probably a really underrated um, product when it comes to the drugstore. Look, this is a very flimsy. Mirror and I kind of feel like I can't see what I'm doing, but it's okay. I'll make it work. I'll fix this mirror instead. People still asking what foundation have you got on today? Okay, so the foundation that I've got on today is the Dior Forever Matte Foundation. It is probably my one of my top um like top five foundations. Um so now it is time to tag line. Take my Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal eyeliner. And I'm just gonna thicken up my upper lash line like so. So it just it makes it look a more bit more. I feel like you can tell more on YouTube. It looks more um, together <laughs> and thicker. I'm just gonna do the same up here. I'm going to leave my lower lash line empty and now it is just time oh actually we didn't set the brows I have brow hairs so I'm going to take 
the 24 hour bra setter from Benefit. And then I'm gonna get that into my lash, my lashes, my uh, eyebrow hairs. So I use the flat side first. There's like a flat side and then there's a, um, so there's like a, a flat side, which is this, and then a thin side like that. So I use the flat side to get the product on there. And then the thin side, which has got the comb, to kind of make sure it's all evenly combed into the brow hairs. People are saying, can you do a skincare routine? Yeah, I can. So, skincare Sunday, skin, no, self care Sunday, Saturday, Saturday, I'm going to be doing my morning skincare routine on um, Instagram. So, for anyone who's on YouTube, feel free to come and follow me on Instagram and you'll be able to see my skincare routine, my morning skincare routine. Um, but I will do like a dedicated video, but right now I'm trying to focus a lot of my energy on just posting uplifting, uplifting positive content on my Instagram um, and then doing lives on my YouTube. So that's the plan for now. Um, and then whenever I can do any more filming um, for YouTube, I'll be adding that into the mix. Oh, and also the foundation question. Although I'm wearing the Dior Forever Foundation, I have mixed in two illuminators into that just to help my skin look really healthy and glowy. And the two illuminators are the By Terry CC Cellular Rose Serum and the Becca Backlight, Prim Backlight Priming Filter. Um, I'm just using Spice Lip Liner from MAC and I'm going to line my lips and fill them in. So Sal K on YouTube is saying, what's the best nighttime moisturiser? Oh, a facial oil. It's like literally the best, I think, in my personal opinion, is <laughs> the best moisturiser for the night time. Because um, I love like a thick moisturiser and I feel like an oil really does it for me. Or... I actually love the Beauty Kitchen um, Sleep Halo Mask that they do. Again, it's very oily on the skin once you put it on your face, and I love sleeping with that. Um, and what other moisturisers do I like? Really, really, really. It's got to be facial oil for me. It's, um, yeah, it's my fave. <laughs> I'm overlining very, very slightly. Not too much, but... How do you know what your undertone is? Uh, there are loads of ways to tell. I think if you Google them, you'll get the correct, correct answer. But you can look at your veins in your arms and that's one, one of the ways that you can tell. Generally, I stick to a neutral undertone, so it's no, not too pink and not too yellow. Um, but if I had to pick from one of them, I would personally go towards the more yellow undertone. I just feel like that's a little bit more flattering for my skin type, my skin less <laughs> um there are certain brands like bobby brown who believe that everyone has a pretty much a yellowish undertone um so yeah i would google it there is a way to tell by looking at the color of the veins of your arms um but i don't want to tell you the wrong thing so please 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 google it before you <laughs> before you do anything else have you ever tried the face halo yeah oh my god it's so good i have one I feel like I want to get more. Where basically, I was trying to look for them like last year and they were all sold out everywhere, which was great fun because trying to hold one down was really, really hard. But I managed to get one. Um, but I think you can get a pack of three, um, but I love them. I feel like that is the way forward. I've still got packets of um, cotton pads, but I am slowly getting rid of them because I am trying to be a bit more mindful about the things that I buy and I want to be as sustainable or be more of a sustainable human being. Um, so I'm making small changes in my life to do that and be that. So um, I think fa face halo is a really great way of switching something out. Stop using, it's a great way of stop using, um, it's a great way to stop using, I feel like I can't get my words out. Um, it's a great way to stop using um, cotton pads that you just a one time, like you use it and chuck it in the bin. Whereas this you can use again and again and again, you can wash it, you can just use it all the time, so yeah. Um, I'm going to use now the Soft Matte Lip Cream from NYX and it is in the shade Toulouse and I'm going to get that onto the lips. It's a 20, okay, not even probably, this is my favourite 
soften that lip cream colour. How do you keep your hair healthy? Uh, okay, so simple answer, reduce the amount of heat you use in your hair. So I will only straighten my hair when or if I need to. Other than that, I keep it curly. And I think from like, to be fair, like I prefer my hair curly like this anyway. Um, I'm just gonna get a little bit more of the All Might Spray. Spray it on my face. Undo my hair, <laughs> my mane. And we are done with my go-to glam-ish. I'm not trying too hard to be too glam, but just enough that I look like I've made an effort. <laughs> Makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like this hour went so quickly. Um, Instagram only lets me go live for an hour. So we're gonna have to cut it short there. I might come back on Instagram live and answer some more questions. Um, but YouTube can keep going, I feel like. I'm pretty sure you can um, do lives for like freaking ages. But this is the end of this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I answered enough questions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the makeup look. Very, very like, this is like my, if I was to just get ready and, and not have to wear eyeshadow this is literally the makeup look that I would go for um and I've used a lot of my products that I'm loving at the moment as well so hopefully you guys enjoyed it <laughs> um I feel like I'm probably gonna end it there because it's been 56 minutes and 51 seconds <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna end YouTube now and then I'll end Instagram in a second. So everybody on YouTube, thank you so much for joining me. This is gonna be uploaded on my channel so you guys can watch it um, whenever you want. And I will update the description box um, later on today with all of the products that I've used. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And as for Instagram, please go and follow, um, or go and watch my YouTube video if you wanna have a link of, or a list of all the products that I've used. So yeah. That's everything from me, guys, on YouTube. Um, I hope you guys are all happy, are healthy. Please stay safe. Please stay indoors. Um, and just make sure you're all thinking positive and all of our vibrations are on a high because that will help help us a lot in the, in the long run for our mind, body, and, and spirit. So that's all from me. Um, and I hope to see you guys all next week in my next live. I don't know how to end this. Oh, there's the next up there. Okay, I'm going to get going and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.